And you can see the, this is two buildings. This is a three-story building. This is a two-story building, and there's an occupiable attic uh, above that. But you can see that the wall that separated those two buildings, which would have been right here, is gone. Uh, this building goes back. Uh, there's a foundation wall here and a foundation wall in the back, which is the back side where the river is. The, this building actually extends back and is supported on the opposite side of the river uh, as well. Um, and there's a whole bunch of debris laying on that, and, uh, uh, and then the, 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 the structure that's supporting all that is, is, has been compromised. And that's our concern, is that whole thing could come down. So it needs to be mitigated, and we, the safest way to do that is, is demolition. Uh, the building on the, uh, the east side of that is the Kaplan's apartment store, and that, that's severely damaged as well. And I made the point in, in the press conference is that we, we don't know that this is the last building we'll have to do this to. Once we get these two buildings down, it'll give us a, a uh, we'll be better to, uh, we'll be in a better position to evaluate what's the status of the, uh, of the Kaplan building as well. Even the buildings that are classified as destroyed and are unsafe to go in at this point doesn't mean that they're not uh, salvageable. Um, they potentially could be repaired, but you know some of those questions are going to be as a result of the, uh, you know, the neighbors, uh, the uh, the occupants, the owners, and their insurance companies are going to have to make that decision.